Hi guys! <laughs> it's another day, a beautiful day, a great, 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 great day made by our Heavenly Father who loves us so much and we love him too. Don't you just love the Heavenly Father? Mm -hmm. Okay, but speaking about days, did you know that there are 24 hours in a day? I bet many of you knew that. But did you know that it takes 24 hours for the earth to complete a spin? That is, for it to completely spin round. Did you know? Did you also know that it takes the earth 365 days, that's a year, to go round the sun completely? Yeah, a whole year. And it is because of this spin, this turning round the earth, that we have seasons like what we have now the rainy season here in Nigeria, and later in the year, we'll have dry season. And in some other parts of the world, we have winter when it's really cold, summer, autumn, and spring. That's God's plan for the earth. That's the way God made the earth. And tell you what, God knew that that was how it was going to be even before he made the earth. Yes, he did. That's God's plan. That's how he made the earth. Doesn't it make you wonder about yourself? How did God make you? Hmm? What is his plan for you? But let me tell you something. Whatever God's plan is for you, and even for me, he knew it long, way, way before we were born. Hmm? God knows us so much. And his plan for us, they are good. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Okay? Wonderfully and fearfully, He made you amazing. Uh huh. So let's thank God for this and let's thank Him for our day. Let's thank Him for making it possible for us to be alive. Let's thank Him for all that we have because He is our provider. So let's close our eyes now and do that. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for being our God. Thank you for making us fearfully and wonderfully. Thank you, Lord, for every good thing that you do for us. Thank you for our bodies. Thank you because our bodies work 
Thank you because we are in good health. Thank you because you have kept us safe. Mighty King of Glory, thank you for our daddies and our mommies, our guidance and all those people that take care of us. Thank you, Mighty King of Glory, for making the rain to fall that waters our plants to give us food. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the water. Thank you for the clothes, our shoes, and everything that you provide for us. Lord, we appreciate you for making us the way we are in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name for being God. We give you the glory for being God. Take all honor in Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, guys, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to be with you, to talk to you about Bible stories, and for us to learn together about the way God wants us to live our life here on earth. You know, everything about your life is in the Bible, okay? That's why you should read the Bible and learn how to live your life on earth pleasing God, okay? Let's take a minute and say hello to Aunt Uju. Aunt Uju, hi! <laughs> okay, guys. Last week, Aunt Uju told you about why you are here on earth. That was a question that she answered last week. And she told you that you are here on earth to worship God. You are here on earth to be God's best friend. You are here on earth to be responsible to your family, to be a responsible child, okay? She told you also that you're here on earth to be fruitful in your body when you grow up to be a man or a woman, when you have your own children. She also told you that you're here to have the fruits of the Spirit and to live by them, okay? Now, there's one more, and we're going to talk about it today. You are here on earth to fulfill God's purpose for your life. And that's why our topic for today is God's plan for me. Can we say it together? God's plan for me. Yay!
Hey guys, it's time for our Bible story. Bible stories are stories of the Bible that God uses to teach us about Him and how we should live our life here on earth. Mm -hmm. Our story for today is taken from the book of Jeremiah. It's about Jeremiah himself and how God called him. You see, when Jeremiah was a little boy, his father was a priest in Israel, so he knew about God. But one day, God spoke to him. God told him, before I made you in your mommy's womb, I knew you and I knew your name. Mm -hmm. That's what God told him. And God also told him that before you were born, I had a plan for you. I already had a plan for you for what you would do for me. You are to go out, you are to go out to nations and talk to people about me. And Jeremiah was like, what, what, huh? Like many of you would say. <laughs> he was like, I'm a small boy, I'm young, I can't speak in public, I'm afraid. And God told him, don't say that you are small, don't say that you are young, because I will be with you. God told him, you must go out and talk to all those people I'm telling you to go and talk to and tell them what I want you to tell them. You must tell them to repent and change from their ways. You will talk to priests, you will talk to princes, you will talk to kings, governors, presidents. God told him that he would go to nations and talk to them. And then you know what God did next? God touched Jeremiah's mouth. And he said, see, look, I have put in your mouth what you will say to all those people. Don't be afraid. I promise I'll be with you. I will protect you as long as you do what I tell you to do. And you know what? Throughout Jeremiah's life, God kept his promise. Yes, God is a promise-keeping God. He kept his promise and Jeremiah too remained a good boy, then a good man and he did all that God told him to do and God protected him. There were some times that when Jeremiah went out to preach and to tell people about the bad things they were doing that God didn't like and taking God's message to them, they wanted to kill him many times but God protected him and God didn't allow anybody to kill him. So that's how God will protect you as long as you're working and you're acting according to his plan. Yes. You saw in that story hmm, that God had a plan for Jeremiah's life. That's how God has a plan for you too. He wants to achieve something in your life. So what is a plan? What do you understand by plan? Well, a plan are those activities that you do in advance in order to achieve something. There are those things that you do so that you'll be able to achieve something. Hmm? You do them before so that later you will achieve something. Okay? Now, remember that God's plan for your life is the reason why you are here. God has a plan for your life and he will achieve it in your life. Okay guys, what can we say that we learned from our Bible story? What can we say that we learned from the life of Prophet Jeremiah? Hmm? Now, God told Jeremiah that he knew him when he was in Moses' womb and that he already <coughs> ordained him to go out to the nations to speak to people, okay? That's how it is for you too. That's how it is for me. Before we were born, God already knew us right from our mother's womb. Mm -hmm. He didn't just know us then. He also knew his plan for us. Way, way, way back, he knew. And 
He put in us the skills, the talent, the gifts necessary to achieve those plans. It's true. Something I want you guys to realize. Hmm? Jeremiah was young when God called him. Just like many of you. And God did great and mighty things through him. He can do the same for you and through you. So I want you to dream big, okay? And don't be afraid because if you walk with God and you do things in partnership with God, just the way Jeremiah did with God, he will do great and mighty things through you. Don't you believe it? The ability to be able to speak to a lot of people. God gave Jeremiah a skill that will enable him achieve his assignment. God gave Jeremiah a skill that will enable him to achieve God's plan for his life. And speaking became Jeremiah's God-given talent. Do you have a talent? A talent is something that you are good at. Something that is easy for you to do and hard for some other people. So, your talent may be running, it may be singing, but I know that some of you will be like, and you see, I don't know my talent. Is it that God doesn't have a plan for my life? No, it's not true. God has a plan for your life and there's something that you are good at. One of the ways to discover your talent is by paying attention to those things that you like doing and those things that you do well okay that other people don't know how to do another way is to ask god to show you your talent hmm? in james chapter 1 verse 5 it says that anyone who lacks wisdom should ask god if you don't know your talent you can ask god pray to him and he will answer you okay God is ready to answer the prayers of his children if they ask him for their talent, if they ask him to show them his plan for their life. God is ready to answer you. But God really loves talking to his best friends. Are you God's best friend? Why don't you give your life to Christ today and become his best friend? And he will tell you great and mighty things. He will show you great and mighty things that you didn't know before. Wouldn't you like that? So if you would like that, let us pray and give our life to Christ today. Now that you've given your life to Jesus and you are now Jesus' best friend in the whole wild world, what you need to do is to read your Bible and pray every day. Read at least a verse every day and learn more about Him. And God will definitely reveal to you His plan for your life. Until next time, when I and I told you come your way again, stay blessed, stay well, and ask God for his plan for your life. Bye!
Take two steps. 